You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Son, how did he go? I did not see her. I don't understand. How do you mean? Mother, I'm just coming back from the salon. I waited for her there over two hours and she didn't show up. What does that mean? I don't know. Is that not an insult to my person? She kept me waiting there. She did not show up, no calls, no text message, nothing, nothing. It's an insult to me. Like seriously? Like seriously, mother. I was there. I waited for her over two hours and I did not see her. Honestly, this is an insult. And I'm going to call her right away. It's an embarrassment. Of course it is. But just calm down. Let me talk to her, okay? Alright, mother. Under your calling, if currently switched off or out of coverage, please try again later. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Apart from what you just said, now, did any other thing happen there? Nothing happened there, mother. I said, I am just coming back from the salon and I was there for two hours. I did not see her. Huh? What is that supposed to mean? It's an insult to my personality. A crown prince like me, have your state first son. How would that girl humiliate me like that? In fact, mother, I will not go there again. I will never go there and see her, nothing of its kind. It's not happening. This is the first and the last time. Oh my friend, why are you fighting this? Stop fighting what you cannot fight. You go, be careful, my queen. If I'm a woman, my book would not go what I want. Ijama, don't worry, just drop the juice. You can take it up from there. Why? Is she not a maid in the palace? Please just go with this. She's a maiden, but we're not handicapped. We can, we can power drinks anytime we want. That was total disrespect to me. How can you mention a maiden's name in my presence? You calling her by her name? That's disrespectful. Yes. But she's also a human being like us. No one has blue blood running through their veins. King, queen, maiden, prince, princess. We are all human, so this shouldn't be a problem. It's a problem, because later she starts seeing herself equal as royalty. Okay, I'm sorry about that, okay? But trust me, this is not supposed to be a problem. Am I not the one pouring this juice now? Does it affect my account balance? Does it? reduce me from my status? Does it affect me as a prince? It shouldn't be a problem, okay? We are all one, we are all human. I really don't know what to say to you, but... It's a no-no for me. A maid is a maid. Royalty is royalty. So they should know the difference. Wow. 
Okay. Please enjoy your drink. Thank you. My queen, he seems to like one of the maidens by name Ichoma. He disrespected me before her. How, how did he mean? He said he respects and sees everyone as equal. I mean, mother, that's disrespectful. You see, that's the point. That's what I'm talking about. He sees everyone as one. Mother, that has to stop seriously. I think why the servants like him because he doesn't punish them. Yes, mother, that has to stop. It's time he puts all of them in their places. I understand perfectly what you're talking about. And this is where you come in. Because it's high time we started correcting that negative impression. We have to make him understand our position as realities in this family and in this community. Exactly. Yes, mother, because I can't even imagine a maid, a servant, seeing herself as equal with me. That's total disrespect to royalty. She will give him fire as a wife and as a queen. Oga no go on ada. But a mother, he's not even responding as he should. I shouldn't bother you. Time will tell. Because the time is already just here. My only problem is Princess Diamond. Oh. I want to do everything I can to take her eyes of him. Quickly get her married to my son. Like that, your father, the king, will learn to respect my son, Prince Dike, and know that he's useless son from evil mother. Father. Mm -hmm. Don't say now I'm a bad mother. Oh, what are you saying? What are you saying? Fine, nice options. Let's cheer to it. <laughs> cheers to success. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Princess Diamond. Welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, uh, I guess you're here for me. No, I am here to see your older brother. My older brother? Who is my older brother? He came, of course. <laughs> I guess you're, you're joking, right? <laughs> Listen, if you don't know, Ikim left this palace a few hours ago with his girlfriend. Wow. Yes, he has a girlfriend. So, uh, feel free with me. Huh? My mother has told me a lot about you. Mm. Tell me, what do you care to drink? It's fine, I'm okay. Uh, yes. Come on, feel free with me. Enjoy. My mother has told me a lot about you, and this is us. Oh. Awesome. oh. What's up, love? My baby. How are you? Fine, welcome oh. back. <laughs> Sorry I kept you waiting. It's fine. You're not good in your huh? outfit. Thank you. You're welcome. You're good, right? <laughs> Yes, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I just met your brother. You mean you met Boga? Yes, he's such a funny character. Yeah. <laughs> so Boga Oh, wow. Interesting. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. Mm -hmm. 
Boga boy. <laughs> mm. Have you seen my dad? Not yet. I I am waiting for you to come back so we'll see him together. You look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> My prince, my prince, is anything the matter? Because I've had this screaming. Are you mad? Who goes you? How dare you come here? Did I call you? Did I call you? Huh? I'm sorry, my prince. I, 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 I thought it twice. I rush and, and check what is wrong. Sorry for your useless self. You are very stupid. How dare you come here? Did I call you to come here? Huh? Did I need your assistance? How dare you? Are you mad? Are you crazy? The next time you try this nonsense hey. again, I will kill you. Light up, flat. Who is this fool? Are you so wrong? Are hey. you so My prince. What is wrong with you? Come on, get away from here. Oh. And then Mona and Wasana and I'm a cop. Why would you do that? Ah, what is wrong with you? But oh, is it not that useless boy? That foolish boy took my girl away from me today. Again! Again, mother! Can you, Can you just calm down? Is that why you're like this? You want to commit murder because your girl was taken away from you? Have you forgotten I'm in charge here? I saw everything. Before she leaves, she will see me. I'll make sure she sees me. Just take care of yourself. Hold yourself. Pull yourself together. Now do something. Do something! Do something! Can, can, can you calm down? If your father sees you now, what do you think he will be saying? Is that why you, sh you, you should treat that boy like that? Have you lost your mind or something? You put that in from your mouth and first slap you. Have sense. Shoot! My friends, these things can eat. <laughs> Do you know this is the second time I'm feeding them today? Oh. <laughs> My dear, as I was saying, no one will do it. I am already seeing myself as the future queen of this kingdom. And I'm not going for anything else. <laughs> you know we don't know what the future has in stock for us. Are you the one saying this? So you mean you are the one saying this? Oh, my girl, listen. You have to make your future what you want it to be. For me, I don't come this life to come so to enjoy this life to the fullest. I don't know why you're sounding like this. It seems like you want to remain in the village and be doing all this. It's okay. Eh? At least I'm your friend. Hey, you will not forget me in your paradise. Yeah, eh? my friend. There is nothing like friendship or even sister in the jungle. By the time I get married to the prince, you see those Achikalate Ikuono that call themselves palace maidens. None of them will come close to my husband, let more of even having one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. Wait, see, ah, wait. Are you trying to say you will not recognize me, your friend? I'll recognize you, at least I'll be dashing you clothes and other gifts. But for me to let you enter the palace to come and work for me, it will not happen. I don't even trust myself, let more of trusting somebody else. You. You're not a good friend. Eh? Yeah, You're not a good friend I'm at not all. A good friend, no problem. I'm only trying to be careful and protect what is mine. Why you keep your the prince with me? It's not happening. Are you not going yet? Go, go where? You're you, you, you not a good friend at all. I'm going to. Ah, later. Oh, no, I should use this one. Or ordinary too. <laughs> yes. It is considered a royal secret. Not every royalty knows about that. My daughter, every king must have a secret. 
and if the secret is not exposed, the king may die with it. Hmm. Yes. Father, why is it like that? Son, it's not everybody that dine and wine with you that loves you. For you to be a king, you must be ready to step on toes. Exactly, my king. You know, my father always saved that to my brother, the crown prince. Yes, those are the enemies of the kingdom. Strong enemies of the kingdom and they are very dangerous, especially if it is your cabinet chief, close to your groin. Father, so what you are trying to say is that Kings are not supposed to trust anybody. Not even himself. Yes, that is the only way you survive it. Son, you won't understand until you merit the crown. <laughs> Don't worry. Are you serious about what you just said? Yes, because they don't favor me, so I've decided to be on my own. Well, we have similar things in common. Same here, I don't keep friends. Because I believe in less friends, less drama. Do I have one advisor? Yes, the first guy I met when I came into this village. Mm, yes, uh, talking about that, I heard you grew outside the palace, so please tell me the story. That would be a story for another day. For mm. now, tell me about yourself, everything about you, and please don't lie. About myself? Start from your first boyfriend. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> my dear, I had to run for my dear life. Are you serious? Because I cannot come and kill myself. Eh? Oh. Hey, you that life's enjoyment. You're <laughs> <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Very lucky, my dear. <laughs> oh, we are all. So. Greetings, Greetings, my lady. lady. Greetings. Please, how may I help you? Um, well, the queen asked us to bring these clothes for you. She said it's for you. Queen, call this for me. Yes. Well, extend my greetings to her. Tell her thank you. No problem. Um, well, we'll take our leave now. Sure, thank you. All right. Thank you. All these clothes from the Queen. Ha. Well, look at what is going on. Nothing much now. She's just a generous Queen. <laughs> no. Generous, you see. I only know you as Ono's daughter. These clothes and the other clothes you wore the other day are only made for princesses now. What is going on? What is wrong with the queen wanting to make me look like royalty that I am? Royalty? Yes, of course. Sure. Now listen. My father is the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. The number two citizen of this kingdom. Mm. The Onobu, which automatically makes him royalty. The only difference is that he doesn't live in the palace with the king. But apart from that, my father is royalty. Isn't it obvious? I'm his only child. <laughs> and I'm his blood. And that makes me royalty too. Oh. So, uh, there is nothing wrong with all this. I mean, I deserve them all. I deserve it. Yeah, it's so fine. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. It's hey. fine. Coming from the queen herself. <laughs> hey, I cannot wait. <laughs> 
Hey, my friends, my friends. You know, it's always the honor to have you. Uh, you know, it's a real privilege. Uh, I go, I go but back to what we were saying. Yeah. I don't want to use the word desperate on her. Okay. But I think she is madly in love with me. Madly in love? Yes. Huh. Uh, my prince, what happened to the other girl you, you, you told me about? Udoka. But, oh, oh, no, who's on his side? Uh, Udoka is there, but I noticed some changes about her. Changes? My prince, in what aspect, if I may ask? I can't really say, but I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. My queen, I want to ask, what right do you have to question my authority and my decision in this kingdom? They are my children. I am a good man. And it is my responsibility to tell my children the truth at every point in time. It is my right to do the right thing to my children. What did you just say? Do the right thing. What right thing are you talking about? So sidelining my own son, my only son, is what you called the right thing. Now he needs to go. He needs to go. Are you aware that this family is in this bondage because you have failed? In your duty as a mother, it is practically your duty to unite these children. And my children are not united. And you're just making yourself an instrument of total disunity in my own household. Check it, woman. Your family is suffering what well, your family is suffering right now because you have failed in your duty as a mother. You are the one that failed. You failed woefully. You are the reason for all this rancor, all this misunderstanding, all this agony. You are the cause. You are responsible for everything. Maybe it's time I remind you of the promises you made to me before I accepted Spill to marry down. you. Because I refuse to marry you until you knelt down and made those promises to me. Now spill it out. Spill, spill the promise that I made to you and tell it before you're taking it. I swear before you. this is your throne that you didn't make such promises to me. You know what? I won't sit here and listen to your lies. Like I said, if you're so shameless that you want to let your children know this, spill it out. Say it before your children are no more interested. You promise nothing. You accept it. You do not have any right to want my authority. Say it yourself. I should say it for the children as if you don't know what you promised. If you didn't make that promise, you think I would have agreed to marry you? Why would you always want to make yourself an instrument of disunity? Because only children you are going into disunity. No wonder. It is there that it's better to build a house and stay on top of the roof than to marry a cantacross woman. A naggy woman. Dad, what is the promise? What is it? Dad, who is promise? Is that the name of your mistress? Mm -hmm. Who is promise? <coughs> Mother, I need to find out what Mother, I must know who is promised. I must know who is promised. If okay, you want to play games. Okay, yeah? You want to play games in this palace? Never. Who is promised? Huh? Who is promised? Mother! Mother! I must know who that promise is. Eh? I do not expect less from you. Dad, what promise is mom talking about? Please speak to us. Mother, mother, who is promise? 
Mother, I seriously do not like this one bit. I feel like you should have just ate your mind out there. Yes, because father is taking advantage of your kindness. Can you two let me be? Huh? I want to be left alone. But I please talk to your husband. Let him be very careful in this palace. Otherwise, I will drill him. 16 matches drilling. He's not too old for that. 16 matches drilling. You go collect for this palace. Oh. Who is promised now? Who is promised? Mother, what's the promise? Was it made to you? Let me alone. What is this one? But I tell us who promised. Who is promised? Eh? Can you let me be? Is it promised land? I don't get it. Why are we so lenient about this? Why are we not doing anything about this? A stranger walks into the palace to take what I feel it belongs to my brother and we're expected to just fold our arms and do nothing. Really? You see, these are the questions only father can answer. But who will be bold enough to ask father those questions? We are no longer kids. Just because father doesn't like us doesn't mean we have to become slaves under the watch of Prince Ikim. And it's not done. Not under my watch would he take what I feel belongs to my brother. Never. I will be bold enough to ask father those questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. DK, are you sure you can do this? 100% sure. You see, you guys are ladies. The father may not take you guys seriously. But I am the man, the first son, Abia State first son. I will not sit here and watch somebody all of a sudden come and claim what belongs to me. I cannot lose my right for any fool. No, I will so. take what belongs to me by fire, by force. That is what I am talking about. You can't just sit down and do nothing. Fight for your rights and we, your sisters, are going to fight solidly behind you. Good. Good. 